Hello everyone. Today on my lunch break I decided to take a little hike and show you a very essential yet simple piece of equipment. The quite often overlooked hammock. So as you guys can see this is a Eno, a Eagle's Nest Outfitters. This is just a particular brand that I've had for probably four plus years now. It's extremely durable. I took it to Central America with me and to uh, Eastern Europe as well. You know, it's a little rough, but it's really, really nice. You know, check them out. They make really good hammocks. But yeah, check it out. So this thing probably doesn't weigh probably under two pounds. This is parachute material, really lightweight. Uh, on the very top, I have my very own um, paracord anchors. Uh, and you can buy pre-made ones or you can make your own. I will actually show you how to make your own anchors. To make your own hammock load-bearing straps, it's really easy. Uh, I, I'm deciding to use paracord because it's very lightweight and it doesn't take up much space. This is actually pretty cool. This is a TRD, a Tactical Rope Dispenser. It's just something pretty nifty. Uh, if you want to go check them out, it's basically 100 feet of paracord and it has a special uh, razor right there. So I can dispense as much paracord as I want and quickly cut it off. But yeah, this is totally unnecessary, but this is a pretty cool uh, gadget that I have. I just wanted to show you guys. Okay, so it's important to know uh, how much material we're going to use. So, for example, we're gonna, we want to make uh, these straps at least six feet long. So six, uh, six feet long, and we're going to need to double up. So we need 12 feet of this. So I'm just going to loop around and uh, about like that this is no, this is good I'm gonna go ahead and loop it see and it cuts off just that easily now notice paracord is a little bit of elast elastic and uh, the first night that we're gonna use this it will probably two one to two inches is going to stretch overnight so after the first two nights that you use it it'll pretty much uh, the, the final form uh, of it's fully stretched out that's how it's going to be so that's the closed loop and this is the two open loops I'm gonna go ahead and make a double knot So one double knot and just to double make sure I'm going to just use a screwdriver to yeah, there it is to, to tighten it like that okay so this is the first knot and then roughly uh, probably six inches or so I'm going to make another knot okay Make sure to keep this level as possible, as you guys can see. Just make sure that this is as level as possible. And then tighten this again. Okay? And we're going to continue doing this until we're all the way to the very end. Now, the main reason that we want to do this is because this is self-regulating. Meaning, as we're going, you know, typically one side and the knot uses a little bit more material so it can be slightly offset but because it's a closed loop it's self-regulating so this thing is going to be straight once we get to the very end so as we finish up uh, the last knot that we make we still want to leave you know minimum six uh, inches like this and you'll say open loop this is what you use to start uh, the anchor point you're going to find a tree go around and then you're going to take all of this and thread it through. So then you have a loop like this. You see what I'm saying? And it's self-adjusting. So as you tighten it, it'll find the perfect tightness. And these knots will actually provide kind of like a, almost like a ratchet system. So it doesn't, you know, go, go past them as far as opening back up. Now, Realistically, the more knots that you have, the more adjustment that you'll have. Because as you put your carabiner in, uh, 
you see right now I have you know about six to seven inches distance so that's my increments that I you know I can adjust to the more knots you have the more finely tuned you can you know have your hammock the tightness so guys just keep in mind the fact that the further the trees are apart or whatever you're using to anchor your hammock the further they're apart the more like hang or, or slope that you're gonna have and the closer together that they are the more rigid and more flatter your hammock will be so the perfect balance is between 10 to 15 feet distance between the two trees so quite simple I'm just gonna take one side of the paracord or the anchor wrap it around the tree and I'm gonna take the end and dip it through the loop like this and I'm gonna pre-tighten it as much as I can that way there's no slack okay very simple and I'm just gonna repeat it on the other side okay so I got my second side set up I'm gonna go ahead I have my first anchor point right here I'm gonna click it into place make sure it's locked and then it's so simple pull it right out because all of this fits into like a pocket and pull it out this is right here this is a double nest it can fit two two people in there uh, so that's 500 pounds rated so that's really really cool I got my second side and as we're hooking it onto here I want to make it just slightly tight as you can see just slightly tight and level that way you know when I get in it's not gonna go down so yeah, I'm gonna test it. Yep, everything is holding good. So you take the hammock, spread it slowly, locate the middle, and lower the back half of yourself into it, and spread the hammock just a little bit like this. At this point, you can choose where you want, you know, the front, the top of your body to be in, the left or right side. And I think this side is just a little bit higher, so I'm gonna choose that side like this now inside the hammock uh, because this is a two-person hammock I can just lay on one side and if it starts to rain just a little bit or there's a lot of bugs or whatever I put on the bug spray and just cover it just like that <clears throat> now if you have a single person that's not necessarily going to work and to put it back up it's very simple undo that and what I try to do with any kind of my hammocks is to compress them as I, I'm putting it in. That way it gets rid of all the air and it's that much tighter. There's no specific way or pattern, guys, but I found if I kind of do this like a S, like this, then I locate the pocket, put it all the way in, make sure it's pretty tight in there, and just keep the pressure. And you'll be able to fit all of it into there. I'm gonna do the second hook. And I try to leave that hook as the last thing th that I put in there. That way it's the first thing out. Okay, making it tight. So, it's literally right there. Next, I'm gonna put the, the anchors What's really nice about some of these companies, they'll make a compression strap like this, cinch it down, and this strap, you can further compress it. That way it doesn't take up, you know, more space in your backpack or whatever. All right, I hope that was helpful. Maybe you've learned something. Uh, but if you follow these simple, I don't know, procedures or steps like similar to what I'm doing right now you guys are gonna be fine because remember a good night's uh, rest or even a, a midday nap uh, in the wilderness whenever you're hiking or whatever is really important to maintain your strength because uh, if you're tired and you're getting horrible sleep guys it's not gonna work really well at all now to better enhance this you can carry a, a sleeping bag that way you can have somewhat insulated uh, you know <clears throat> if there's wind or whatever um, but you know for the summertime or you know early fall uh, you can just carry a uh, tarp 
It doesn't necessarily have to be expensive, but you know, something to, to stop and break the wind and you'll be fine and you'll be able to maintain that body heat that you need to survive. Now, uh, probably in the future, I'm going to show you how to make some makeshift sh uh, shelters and such. And there's a really cool design that you utilize a hammock for that. But anyways, guys, uh, I'm still working on a whole bunch of other different videos. I appreciate you for watching this video. Go ahead and like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Пока-пока.